Today's video topic is ketones. What are ketones? Ketones are produced in the body when fat is broken down for energy. They, however, become toxic when they accumulate in the body. They make the blood more acidic. Glucose is the body's main source of energy, but when it is unavailable, your body breaks down fats for energy. When this happens, ketones are produced. High ketone levels put you at risk of developing life-threatening diabetic ketoacidosis. What are the symptoms of ketone buildup? If you are diabetic, you need to be aware of the symptoms that can come with high ketone levels. The symptoms include strong thirst, dry mouth, frequent urination, and a blood sugar level greater than 240 milligrams per deciliter. If you don't get treated, your symptoms can worsen to flushed skin, nausea, vomiting, confusion, stomach pain, extreme fatigue, trouble breathing, and a fruity breath odor. How are ketones tested? You can measure your ketone level by testing your blood or urine. There are at-home kits for both types of tests, but urine tests are more common. They are available at most drugstores, and you can also buy them online. These testing strips have chemicals that change colors when they react with ketones. The results can be interpreted by comparing the test strip to the color chart on the package. For blood tests, you can use an at-home meter. Just prick your finger with a needle and drop the blood on the testing area of a machine for analysis. When to test for ketones. When your blood sugar level is higher than 240 milligrams per deciliter. When you have symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis. If you are diabetic, your doctor may recommend regular ketone testing. High ketone levels can be detectable at any time of day, but for the most accurate results, it should be done either early in the morning or a few hours after dinner. What happens when you have a high ketone level? High ketone levels lead to swelling in your brain, loss of consciousness, diabetic coma, and death. Treatment for high ketone levels. You should work with your doctor to decide what to do to manage your ketone levels. However, if you are unable to manage it at home, you will need medical treatment. These treatments include, one, intravenous or IV fluid replacement. One of the symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis is increased urination, which leads to fluid loss. Treatment is rehydrating with IV fluids to dilute the extra glucose in your blood. Two, electrolyte replacement. A person with DKA tends to have low electrolyte levels. Examples of electrolytes include sodium, potassium, and chloride. Excessive loss of these electrolytes can affect the functions of the heart and muscles. Are there ways to prevent high ketone levels? To keep your blood sugar levels healthy and your body's ketone level to a minimum, do the following. One, check your blood sugar levels regularly. Your doctor will recommend an ideal routine to check your blood sugar level regularly, but it should be done four to six times per day. You should check your blood sugar more often if your blood sugar levels are getting higher, you're having symptoms of high or low blood sugar, or you're sick. Two, follow a balanced diet plan. It is vital to manage your carbohydrate intake and insulin dosage if you are managing diabetes. Make sure you talk with a registered dietitian if you need help managing your diet. Three, create a plan for moderate ketone levels. Your doctor can help you create a plan to help when your ketone levels get too high. For example, administering additional insulin and drinking more water. Four, keep your ketone testing kits available. Your ketone testing kits should always be with you so you can always check your ketone levels. Also, work closely with your doctor and diabetes educator. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.